Are you struggling with the CPA exam because your course failed to fit your learning style? I'm Darius Clark of I-75 CPA Review, where the right teacher makes all the difference. All right, what do we have to know about land and building and also land improvements? Well, land cost includes all costs prior to excavation, prior to digging the foundation. Once you start digging, that gets capitalized to the building account. But all costs prior to excavation, they're capitalized to the land account. So we got to keep our land account separate from our building account. What's the obvious reason why? Well, because land doesn't depreciate, but building does. So anything capitalized to the land account won't depreciate, but anything capitalized to the building account, we will depreciate that. So cost of land includes not just the price paid for the lot or acreage, but also broker's fees, title and recording fees, legal fees, all that gets capitalized to the land. If you have to drain the swampy areas, clear the brush or level or fill in dirt, that's all land cost. So is paying back taxes that's owed on the property. If there's, let's say, two years of back taxes owed, the township won't let you become the new owner unless those old taxes are paid. You pay them and that'll be capitalized to the land cost. Once you start digging out the dirt, that's your first building cost, digging the foundation. So if you see excavation or digging out the dirt, that's your first building cost. What about raising an old building that might be on the property before you can build a new one? Well, that's land cost too. If you have to take an old building down and then maybe you'll be able to sell some of it for scrap, you'll net that cost out and that'll be additional land cost. Remember that paying any back taxes owed from prior years is capitalized as land cost. It's not a current year expense. You might be wondering about taxes. If there's property taxes paid for the current year, that's an expense. But everything we've seen on this slide gets capitalized either to the land or to the building. Let's try this. Butler Corp purchased a plot of land for 200000 The cost to raise a building on the property amounted to 40000 Now that word raise, R-A-Z-E, means to knock it down. That's not R-A-I-S-E. That's not to put up a building. Raise with a Z is like a razor blade. You're going to chop that old building down. So the cost to raise is $40,000 and Butler received $6,000 from the sale of scrap material. So net those two out. The $40,000 is out of pocket. The $6,000 comes back. Add $34,000 to the $200,000 land cost. Right now we're at two thirty-four dollars for the cost of land. And the question wants to know what amount should Butler capitalize in its land account. But we got a little bit more to read. It says Butler built a new plant on the site at a total cost of $700,000, including architect fees of $13,000. What amount should Butler capitalize to the land account? Well, architect fees is a building cost because that's what the architect does. It designs the building. So we're going with letter B. The land account gets capitalized for $234,000. The architect cost would go to the building account. Now, we're always trying to anticipate the next question. That's the I-75 difference. If they would have asked how much gets expensed out of all these costs, you'd say zero. Because even though the architect fee doesn't get capitalized to the land account, it still gets capitalized. It just goes to the building account. All right, this question asks, how much should Ziga Inc. record as land in the year of purchase? So here's what he spent, $120,000 for the plot of land. Sure, that goes into the land cost account. What do we say about back taxes? $12,000. Is that going to the land cost account? Yes, don't expense that. So far for the land, we're up to one thirty-two. dollars Current year taxes, $4,000. That gets expensed. Don't put that in the land cost account. Title and recording fees. Yes, that gets capitalized. That goes into the land cost. Architectural fees gets capitalized, but not to the land cost. Additional dirt and fill. We're bringing in more dirt. We're adding more land, aren't we? Yep, so capitalize the 7,000 additional dirt and fill. That's land cost. Excavation fees, no, that's building cost. So how much should get capitalized to the land? 140,000, answer choice C. That would be the 120,000 plot of land, the back taxes of 12,000, title and recording fees, and additional dirt and fill.
if they would have asked how much is expense, just the current year taxes of 4000 All right, same facts. How much should they record as building in the year of purchase? How much is building cost? Not the plot of land, not the back taxes. The current year taxes are expense. Title and recording fees is land. Architectural fees, 6000 There's your first building cost, along with excavation fees of 20000 26,000, letter A. Letter A is correct. Remember that architect fees is a building cost and so is excavation. So when you take dirt out, that's a building cost. When you bring additional dirt in, that's a land cost. How about this one? Baker Corp purchases land for use as a future plant site. An old building on the site needs to be raised and the scrap materials will be sold. Legal fees will need to be paid in order to record ownership and title insurance will need to be acquired. Which of the following should be expensed in connection with the acquisition? Title insurance? Well, insurance is usually an expense, right, in accounting? But not when you buy property. Title insurance is capitalized as part of the land cost. Legal fees for recording ownership gets capitalized to the land cost. Raising of old building, less proceeds from sale of scrap gets capitalized to the land. So the question asks which of these would be expensed and none of them would be. So we'll go with letter D. All right, now let's talk about land improvements. Land improvements are recorded as a separate asset from land. We're talking about a fence or a sewage system or a sprinkler and water system or sidewalks or paving and landscaping. Why the big distinction between land and land improvements? Because unlike land, land improvements can be depreciated. All right, which of the following will be capitalized to the land cost? Okay, not land improvement, but land. One, filling in dirt to level property prior to excavation. What does level property mean? It means to smooth it out, to level it off, to make it flatter. If we're filling in dirt, if we're bringing in dirt, that's a land cost, isn't it? Two, excavating cost. No, that's a building cost. So letter A is correct because filling in dirt to level the property prior to excavation is capitalized to the land cost. Remember, all costs incurred prior to excavation are land costs. How about this one? Which of the following is correct regarding land improvements? One, land improvements include sidewalks and fences. Yes, that's land improvements. Two, land improvements can be depreciated. Yes. C is correct, both one and two. How about this one? Broward Outfitters Inc. purchased land with the intention of building its new administrative headquarters on the site. Assuming the following can be debited to either land, land improvement, or building, which of the following should be charged to land improvements? Number one, clearing of trees and grading. That's a land cost. Clearing the trees, removing the brush, grading and leveling. That's land cost. Question wants to know what's land improvements. Don't pick number one. Two, architect's fees. Well, that's building. That's building cost. That's not land improvements. Three, installation of sewage system. Yes. So if Broward Outfitters installs its own sewage system and they own the sewage system, then that would be land improvement. So the answer is D, three only. Now, again, we're always trying to anticipate the next question. So if the next question said that the sewage system was actually owned by the town, but Broward Outfitters was being charged a maintenance fee for the sewage system, then it would not be land improvements. So if they had to pay ongoing charges for the sewage system, then it would be an expense, like a utility cost. But another thing that could happen with the sewage system is that they might get a special assessment for the city-owned sewage system that all the landowners have to pay. If that's the case, if it's a one-time special assessment for the sewage system and the city owns it, then it would be a land cost. So sewage system, when would it be land improvements like it is here? If they're installing their own sewage system. So Broward Outfitters, if they're installing their, their own sewage system, they own it, then it's land improvements. Let's try this one. Kempcorp purchases land that requires a sewage system. Which of the following costs related to that sewage system would be capitalized to land cost? Not land improvement, land cost. And if you think you know, leave me the answer in the comments section. 
And if you find these videos helpful and you want to request more, don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps the channel out a lot. And if you need more help with the CPA FAR exam, go to cpaexamtutoring.com and get yourself on I-75 with me, Darius Clark, where the right teacher makes all the difference.